Don't even think about it. Fuck Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend! Move! Come on, man! Damn it! Help them! I'll cover the corridor! Shit! Move! Let's 
You to mess with a Marine. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. Anyone else make it? It all happened too fast. I think it's just you and me. Just you and me, huh? Well, that's just fucking great. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. You looking for trouble? Says the American with the gun. Your friend said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That is not always true, but if we both want to live, we must fight as one. The sword and the shield. They're too wordy for my liking. But I'm in. For one second, you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. Follow me, second, you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jarhead? That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate, the other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. You got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, it's beginning to look like that.
First thing you're gonna do when we get out of here. Hold my son. Nine PM. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. You seem like you got your head screwed on, so I gotta ask. Made you sign up with Saddam? For us, we had no choice. What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. <laughs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. I say we get the fuck out of here.
Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your bag, be my guest. Those chemical weapons are close, right? Every time you say something. It's cavernous. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Hold up, will you? What are you doing? That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left. Funny how you can know someone for years and never really know them. I had no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? You didn't make it. Works for me. I'm this bad guy to deal with. A time will come when you'll deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets. Jack in the box. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fired up. You crazy? If those vampires come from anywhere down there, we really want to find them in their own home. What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working.
An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Rachel found her way back to the lights. Well done. All a lie. Although don't get complacent. Their lives still hang by a thread. Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Salim, sworn enemies who cannot seem to bury the hatchet, unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it. Billy territory. What were you expecting? Cantaloupe caviar. Not exactly honeymoon material, is it? <laughs> I recall a certain somebody saying that she wanted to go ice climbing. Ice climbing is relaxing. What is it? The guy who served me. I, I don't know. He was just looking at me pretty strange. Probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often, especially when you showered. <laughs> uh, he was saying some weird shit. Such as? It's nothing we should go. No, come on, tell me. He said I'll never again be as happy as I am now. What the hell's that mean? You don't believe him, do you? Of course not. You know, my sole objective, Rage, is to make you happy. Doesn't matter where we are or what we're going through, I'll always put a smile on your face. <laughs> See? I told you. Next time, all you have to do is whistle, and I'll come running to defend your honor. Oh, like my very own loyal puppy dog. Semper Fi. It means always loyal. I'm more than capable of looking after myself. Now get your feet off my dash, you hillbilly. Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Right. Eric. Malfunctioning. Colonel, you gotta go! You too, Nick, you're coming with us! Come on, Ray!
Hold me up. Thank me later. Let's move out. that thing's gone. Look like it went down that tunnel. He's alive. Jason's alive. Maybe things aren't going so badly after all. Back there, oh. Thanks for looking out for me. One good turn deserves another. All right, let's find Kolchak. What are you waiting for? A written invitation? Let's go. It's time. It's absolutely not the time. Rachel, I know you said to put things on ice, but you can't pretend like this didn't happen. I'm done lying, and especially with you wearing your ring again. He's right. It is time. Roll it out for us. Now? Right fucking now? Yes, now. We may not have another chance. Fine. Eric, you and I, we had something very special. But that was a long time ago. Him? You're choosing him. This isn't about choosing. It's about knowing what's best for me. I was on my way. I was making a new life for myself. But life has a way about it. Today, I've seen the same man I fell for all those years ago. When you held on to that rope, I knew you'd always be there for me. I want to try us again. After all that shit he put you through? That's just it. I can't turn my back on my past. If I didn't give you a chance, I'd always regret it. Don't say another word. I'm sorry I came to this. Yeah, you fucking deserve each other. Let's go find Kolchak. Thank you. Some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them or? Don't need to be a smart ass. Let's move.
This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood. Being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. And then all I have left was the world. After my wife left us, I, I gave him my all. I, I wanted him to have everything I didn't. There's no air. Not a fucking day.
She gotta be where those things come from. I think so.
Looks like someone's been aborting the dentist. No fangs. You see, the bone is ruptured where they should be, as though smashed from the inside out. What are you saying? Maybe these things weren't originally vampires. Maybe they got infected.
shit, Nicky. You turned up like the fucking cavalry. I thought you were dead. Not my time. Colonel, you made it. Now, crawling through that tunnel was a highly unpleasant experience. <laughs> Good to see you again, ma'am. Take my hand. I'm glad you're here, man. This place. those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um, eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. Huh. Plus two phosphor rounds. And one block of composition C4. What about the UV lamp? Took a knock, but I can fix it. Just need a minute. All in is not enough. We've also got this. Ah, it's old, unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now, fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still back a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? Be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh. Rah. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, ma'am. We stand together as one. Looks like our explorer friends are here too. We should search this place before we move out. There. Got it. Any juicy gossip? It belonged to Mary Hodgson. Of all the topics she wrote about, one thing stood out more than the rest. What's that? She wanted to go home. Mary's not the only one, is she? confident are you that they'll work they'll work this thing with you me and uh forget it nick i'm just saying don't keep your head clear of everything but the task ahead it's the only way we'll live over here i found something one way of describing it.
there's meaning here. It's a language formed from chords, musical scales, sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus, the whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. Creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. What happened? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. Is anyone buying this shit? I don't know, but old Mother Mary was right about one thing. There's no more good in this place. Hey, come on. Let's go burn these motherfuckers. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? of them. If we set the charges there, they will burn. Shit, they're hatching. We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. If we die here, at least we'll take some of those bastards down with us. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Take the detonator. If I don't make it... Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep a radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. See it go up. You hit that detonator. 
quick and be safe. Hundreds of them. At least you've got the boss to tell me the truth. I'm sorry, Nikki. For this? For what happened at that checkpoint? It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens.
largest in place. God said, feels like this whole damn place is coming down. Salim, he's still alive. Salim, come in, man. Are you there? I am surrounded. I'm in real trouble here. Vampires. So many vampires. He's a dead man. We need to go.
You're wrong. Salim is one of us now. Marines don't leave their own behind. You hear me, Salim? If I don't make that, tell my son I did everything I could. Tell him yourself. I'm coming to get you. throw that thing at me. I did. Salim busted through them like it was the last down of the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> Listen up, you're not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that. Best of the best. We will get home. Hoorah!
How the hell do we make it through that? Everyone okay? We're alive. We're fucking alive. Dropkick to Coyote 2. Radio check. Over. This is Coyote 2. Solid copy. Evac units are being prepped. ETA 5 hours. Wait. Over. We got back up again. We beat the enemy. how bright it is out here. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. No, not again.
I need to see my boy. A souvenir. Shalim, wait. Good luck, brother. You wish Zane a happy birthday from me. Thank you, Jason. Goodbye, my friend. Freely they stood who stood, and fell who fell. Not bad. You've guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the darkness. Survival often comes at a great cost, a cost that others sometimes must pay. I look forward to our next encounter, perhaps. I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, 
you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. You're late, and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They crammed me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Cool check, Jason. First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? More so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You ain't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Selim. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! And Sergeant K? Nikki didn't make it. So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard. If you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Kolchak to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. Nothing to show. He walked. The hell's that mean? By the time the extraction team got here, he was gone. Could be across the border by now. Sneaky son of a bitch. Now I see why Kolchak enlisted his help. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. Ah, shame. This testimony could have been valuable. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah. And here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Everything you know about biology just went up in smoke. These things, they're advanced. They're stronger than us, more intelligent than us. If you want to get ahead of this, you need to start taking me seriously. None of us doubt the severity of the situation, Colonel. A number of people have died. I made it out alive. And I'm going to make sure those things stay buried in that hellhole where they belong. Let's move on to Caleb. Well, do you believe me now? This is Miller. He'll be fully debriefing you. Debriefing? You need to get your damn priorities straight. Those things are still down there. What are you doing about them? There will be plenty of time to talk things through. Right now, I suggest you count your blessings that you came through the other side. It's nothing short of a miracle that you survived down there. I learned not to rely on anyone but myself. I was stronger than them all. We'll be back shortly. We still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. A small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. You want to know what it means to be a killer? 
think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you?